Hey everybody, it's Jason Blah here. Now that my two obligatory informative videos are done for the day, it's time to talk about current events in the online fitness community. And I've had a few people ask me, hey Jason, uh, Alpha Destiny, who I know you've had some beef with, you don't disagree with him on everything, obviously. Uh, some things I do agree with uh, Alex on. That he made a video discussing some stuff with his bench and pull-up specialization. He had some comments on what do you think about some of it, particularly his tricep growth or lack thereof with the bench specialization. So let me put on my plus five out of weaponsmithing, work on skill at my crafting a little bit, and let's talk about this. Um, all right, guys, what well, people need to understand when we get into this, we're going to talk about the said principle, specific adaptation to impose demands, uh, which is something that, that Alex doesn't always seem to grasp. And that's one of the things, you know, he promotes a lot of, of bizarre training at times. Some of it's good and a lot of it's bad. That's so why if you guys go see, like even Dr. Jordan Feigenbaum uh, the other day gave him a thumbs down in a Q&A, uh, who himself is a, a medical doctor, a coach, and everything, who, who deadlifts over 700 pounds while weighing about 200. You know, so we're talking about a pretty knowledgeable guy. He gives him the thumbs down. Um, and what people need to understand, and this is what's going to help this make sense for a lot of people, if you put your body through any given amount of stress. You need to understand the human body is actually resistant to gaining muscle mass because it speeds up metabolism, right? And we are designed or evolved, depending on how you want to word it, to uh, survive famines, ice ages, things like that. We tend to be reluctant. Our body tends to be reluctant to do things that could cause us to starve to death, right? We're, we're survival oriented species, just like every other highly evolved species on this planet. Pretty much set up to not starve to death. It means we don't gain muscle unnecessarily. So our body will put the amount of muscle on that is necessary to complete any task that it is chronically subjected to. Any load that you chronically subject your body to, that is what your body will grow muscle mass uh, to accommodate. So if you build your bench press up to, for this exact grip width, right, medium grip or whatever, if you build your bench press up to where you can bench 315 with an exact half second pause, for four reps, right, for four reps, or five reps, whatever it happens to be, your body will gain the amount of muscle mass necessary in your triceps, your delts, your pecs, everything else, to safely complete this task, right, so that you will hopefully not injure yourself in the future doing it as you're loading yourself to this, uh, these workloads chronically. That's what the body does. Uh, hopefully people understand that. That should be a simple concept. Your body gains the exact amount of muscle that you stimulate it to, to gain where it's where it gains it right it's not going to gain a single drop more now alex went on to say hey i did a whole area where i did a bunch of tricep specialization and, and i'm sorry a lot of what he did was not tricep specialization some of his lifts were but let's talk about things like slingshots let's talk about uh board presses, right? All, accommodating resistance, all this other stuff he did takes the chest out of the lift more, but it doesn't train the triceps more. In other words, if you bench with uh, chains or you bench with a slingshot, it's not that your triceps are doing more work. Your triceps are they're doing the same amount of work overall. It may be less in some cases. It's that your pecs get de-emphasized, right? Because deep pause benching, pause benching, having to move the weight from a dead stop near the bottom or at the bottom recruits more pectoral, right? That subjects your pecs to a higher load. They're having to do more work. So a lot of what he did wasn't, I don't know that I would call it tricep specialization as I would call it tons of pressing with a, with a chest de-emphasis, right? So he basically tried to remove the chest as much as possible. So what ends up happening if you do that? You gain more tricep. But had he been doing it different and just done a lot of, of more common presses, his pecs would have grown along with his triceps, right? So he went through a whole phase of time to where he did subject his triceps to a very large amount of load, right? Probably nearly their maximum recoverable volume over time, his triceps grew. He undertrained his chest, undertrained his chest. His chest could have been growing at the same time without slowing his triceps down. Had he chose to do that, he chose not to. So accordingly, he now has pecs that are weak, and triceps that are bigger and stronger. He's disproportionate at this point. 
from the perspective of a bench press. I'm not saying disproportionate in regards to necessarily what one person's view of aesthetics are, but from the perspective of being as strong as possible at, say, a meat legal bench, his pecs were undertrained and underdeveloped, and his triceps were up to speed. So then he goes through a period of time where he does a lot of pause benching, a lot of dead stop benching, and he calls the dead bench. I, I, I call that a pen press. I, I, I don't know. That's a pen bench. Um, I'm not a fan of it. I think it will beat your joints up over time, in my opinion. Opinion of a lot of coaches out there. Um, then he said that his triceps didn't seem to grow at all, even though his bench went up, but his pectorals and front delts and stuff grew. I don't think no seriously that his front delts grew, uh, but his pectorals grew. So then he's trying to say, well, I don't think that the bench press and all this pause bench and everything really works the triceps because my triceps didn't grow any further as my bench went up. And here's the point I would make. Why would they? You already built your triceps big enough. In other words, if you have done tons of tricep work, right, through whatever means necessary, and your chest is undersized, and you, but you, you only have a chest that's capable of benching 275, right? And you built your triceps to the point to where they can bench 365, where they would be able to handle a 365 bench. And then you build your bench up to 365, what's going to grow? Your pectorals. The bigger exercise is going to rebalance you out because your triceps are not being subjected to a load that they can't handle because you've overdeveloped them in proportion. The weaker muscle is going to catch up. That's why I tell people if you do a wide enough variety of big exercises, and again, that's something he always tries to say to people like me we only promote the big three, which is total horseshit. Everyone knows I'm a massive fan of pull ups, chin ups, the, the overhead press. I place just as much importance on these as I do the competition lifts. Um, for a reason, for a reason, they balance a lot of muscles out that will help you in the long run. But the point is, if you're doing a wide enough variety of big lifts, you don't develop muscle imbalances. You develop muscle imbalances by imbalanced training. What he did was imbalanced training, which gave him really strong triceps, but it left his chest lagging. And I said that was going to happen. I said you can't train the way he trains and, and have a chest that's going to be caught up. Your chest is going to be weaker and smaller. It's going to be. It's unavoidable with the style of training he did. So then he spends a bunch of months, a long time, playing catch up for his chest and then is surprised that his triceps didn't grow. Well, why would they? The bench press balanced you back out. All the pause benching balanced you back out. Do, do people understand that, the, the concept here? It, they didn't grow because they, they'd already grown. They were already where they needed to be to bench 360 or whatever it is that he benched, right? His triceps were already developed to that point. His chest needed to catch up. So by building his pause bench up to that and putting a very heavy focus on the chest, it caught up. But had his triceps not gone through the other training, they would have grown also. Had he only built his triceps up to the point where they could handle a 280 bench, and then he built his bench to 350, his triceps would have grown. Uh, because to say that the triceps are not massively recruited on the bench press is provably false. Basic biomechanics shows you that they're recruited on the bench press and the pause bench, even at the bottom. EMG studies show you that they're heavily recruited. This is not subject to debate. And in anyone saying that they aren't is literally a jackass who can't look at an anatomy book or can't read a study. I mean, you have to be so ignorant to think that the bench can't grow your triceps um, that I, I really, you can't even argue with someone that ignorant. You can't. I mean, the, the stupidity is mind-blowing. So the point here is that Big compound movements will balance you out. Each muscle involved will get as big as it needs to get to handle the workload you're subjecting it to, which is why if you have a balanced program of big exercises, you tend to end up being relatively balanced, right? And when you have certain muscles or strength areas that are lagging, you put a little more focus on that exercise, and it'll balance you out. Well, the bench press and the pause benching balanced them out. Now, what I do want to say, I'm a big fan of dead stop training, but not on pins. So if a lot of people see what he's doing and say, well, I want to do that, don't. It's going to beat your joints up. He's young. He's, in his, he's like 22, 23. He's getting away with that for now. It's going to beat his joints up. I recommend you guys floor press. Uh, floor press while you're laying on rubber mats, right, so that you have a, a little bit of cushion for that 
you don't want a hard stop against steel. Steel on steel is not good for your joints. The floor press will give you all the benefits that he's trying to get out of the dead bench, right? It'll give you all the benefits. I would recommend it in place of it. Uh, and it doesn't matter that he got stronger and gained muscle doing it. You can gain the exact same benefits from the floor press without the extra wear and tear on your joints because that is going to catch up to him eventually. It's going to catch up. So that's my opinion on that. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.